We built our very own Fortnite costumes and put them to the test against real life Fortnite blasters, weapons, and accessories. <laughs> <laughs> just got stuck just in the stuck bow. right in there. All right, Jake, can you withstand a bow and arrow? Go, get him from behind. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Because I can't get <laughs> I knew this day would come. I knew it was coming from the moment I started playing Fortnite. Logan and Phil had no idea. As Fortnite progressed, everything got more futuristic, more advanced. But I knew that one day, it would have to go primal. That's why I secretly prepared. I worked in the shadows, learning how to live off the land, like the pioneers before me. I would move from location to location, hiding in the dark, waiting when the time was right to use my primal skills. I learned to hunt the elusive watermelon one of the hardest creatures to catch. Using my bow and arrow though, I became an expert watermelon huntress. Next I learned to collect coconuts from coconut trees and break them open using my primal bat. I had become one with nature. I was primal. Jake, Jake, what are you even doing right now? Why are we out here smashing coconuts? Logan, it's Fortnite primal. I'm learning to survive in the primal wilderness like the pioneers did. You're smashing fruit. Have you not seen what happened to Fortnite, Logan? Did you not see what's happened? It's gone primal. There's wolves now, there's bow and arrows. We're not ready. We got so used to the futuristic technology that we all have around us like toasters. The pioneers didn't have toasters, Logan. They didn't have toasters. Okay, so, so what are you saying, Jake? I'm saying if we're gonna survive this new Fortnite primal, we need to learn how to eat, sleep, and live primal. Hey yo, what is going on everyone? It's your boy Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video and guys today We are doing something awesome as you guys know a brand new season of Fortnite just dropped and we got Logan And we got Phil and you guys are playing Fortnite. Yeah, Jake. What else are we doing? We're gonna be making a video about Fortnite a Fortnite video in real life And I'm using my hand a lot. Is, is this about the whole Fortnite's gone primal and we, we got to become primal? It is about Fortnite's gone primal and we got to become primal Primal. And so I had the awesome idea that today we would have a little competition, a budget challenge, because you guys absolutely love budget challenges. And what I thought we would do is since we're gonna be doing some more real life Fortnite videos, you know, we've got a lot of really cool costumes, guys. You know, we've seen Phil dress up as a bush. He has been a bush. And me and Logan have been a lot of different things. But what if we built our very own Fortnite costumes and put them to the test against real life Fortnite blasters, weapons, and accessories? You're talking about a real life Fortnite costume budget challenge. Exactly. We'll split a budget between all three of us and we'll all go outside and we'll use a bunch of the new weapons such as, you know, bow and arrow, maybe use a baton, maybe some paintball blasters, maybe some nerf rival blasters. I don't know, there could even be a baseball thrown in there and we'll see who can build the greatest Fortnite costume. Now, it's not just about making your costume look cool. It's about making actual armor. I mean, making this thing so it is solid. It would survive the world of Fortnite. Okay, so the idea is pretty simple. You guys have seen Iron Man, Halo, I mean pretty much any awesome movie or TV series. They all have really super cool suits that can withstand bullets, explosions, pretty much anything. So why can't Papa Jake have one of those? Well, he can. And we're gonna prove it with a budget challenge. We're gonna split up with budgets that I'm going to decide and we're gonna have each one of us see who can build the better defense suit. This is gonna be Fortnite themed because we're gonna be using Fortnite weapons, but I'm gonna add some extras in there that are gonna change some things up. Now this is a little dangerous, so absolutely do not try this at home. But if you guys like this video and you like budget challenges, do not forget to smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, and of course, if you wanna join the most ultimate squad on YouTube, hit the bell button so you never miss a brand new video. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, I've decided. Logan, you have a budget. Zero dollars. What? Because I'm Why mad. Why just decide that? I'm mad at you because you didn't let me and Phil out of the hide and seek dungeon. You did that to yourself. No, nope, that, that, your, that was your fault. I didn't put you in there. No, nope, it's your fault. Zero dollars. Jake, one thousand dollar budget. That's right. One thousand dollars to build the ultimate suit. Where are you getting the money for this stuff? Well, I'm taking it from your budget and using it in my budget. Logan, it's pretty easy. You have zero dollars, but that means you have access to pretty much all the garbage around this house. I mean, you could use cardboard, you could use styrofoam, you could use tape. I mean, there's a lot of things around here to make an ultimate suit with. Phil? Oh, okay, okay. I guess I'll just use your Yeezys because no, they're no, technically you garbage. No, you can't use those. Those are not garbage. Phil. Yeah, Jake. As my longest and bestest of friends. Yeah, Jake. I'm going to give you a budget of $10. $10? You deserve it. Can I buy donuts? No. 
All right, guys, but before we go and build our suits, we need to get an idea as to what they are going to be going up against. As you can see, Papa Jake, always with safety first. I've got my goggles on. Phil, goggles are on. You know I got mine. All right, and we have our lineup of different items that we are going to be testing on the suits to see if they can withstand real life Fortnite. Now, in order... Ow, Logan, you just shot me with an explosive round from an RPG. Good thing I had my safety goggles on or else I would have blown up but over here guys we have lined up some test items we've got some fruit some pineapples we've got ourselves a watermelon we have some apples and some coconuts and then some jugs of water now we are going to be testing each one of these items on the fruits so you guys can get an idea as to how deadly and dangerous they really are which is why i'm going to say again do not try this at home but the idea is once you see the power of these items we're then going to get our suits ready and see if our suits can withstand them phil do not do not blast that paintball guy Nope, Phil, Phil, do not, do not fire that. You can shoot it at the pineapple. All right, guys, so the first item we are going to have is very primal. It is a slingshot, a classic item that the pioneers used all the time. We're going to have our watermelon here act as, well, I guess this would be like Logan's tummy. So that's Logan's tummy. And we are going to be firing our sling. Oh, Phil, you hit the coconut. Let's see how the watermelon does against the primal slingshot. All right, so I just did a test shot. Uh, this might be a bit scary. We're gonna have to make these suits really good. I don't think we should use a slingshot. Logan, it's primal. It's what the pioneers used, okay? Just pretend that watermelon's Logan's little tummy. And then the slingshot just goes, bam! Oh. That went right through. It's bubbling. Oh. Okay, it almost went right through. All right. You gave me no budget to make a suit against- You're still solid, okay? What is this? Jake, this, this? Is, this is a bit too deadly. <laughs> I don't think we can make a suit of armor strong enough to withstand this. No, 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 no. Oh! It's not done yet! Primal Fortnite! So... Okay. All right, the, I think we banned the mace. Okay, the mace is banned. All right, guys, the next primal item we are gonna be using against our suits is going to be a bow and arrow. Now, obviously, this is very primal, and you can see it in the brand new Fortnite. The thing is, this is a bit too dangerous, so like the mace, we are gonna be banning it, sort of. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be replacing it with a little tennis ball tip, see? So you're still gonna get the impact, it's still probably gonna hurt, but this is way more likely to uh, have our suits actually be able to withstand it than a real bow and arrow, but since we are out here and we're testing on fruits, why don't we try the real thing and see what it can do. Oh! What happened? It didn't even go through. Uh, I think it nicked it and, uh, oh, yeah, that's, Okay, I don't, I don't want you to shoot that at me, Jake. Guys, we're not using the mace in the video. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. I don't know why we bought this thing. Three, oh, okay. two, All right. ah! oh! oh, this thing is, oh, oh, if that was Phil, he'd be all over the place. Ah! Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Jake, what was in this? Green zombie liquid. No, it's on my face. It's supposed to simulate zombie No. Blood. Why are we using a mace? I'm gone. I need a shower. Well, the next uh, item we have is a bat. This so this going is to the moon, boys. probably going to be the more classic item that we're going to use. So Logan is going to demonstrate the bat skills using a, well, an apple. Oh, it exploded. Jake, I think we need to ban this bat. We can't ban every item. You're just gonna have to make your suit strong enough to withstand them. Oh, <laughs> it's too strong, Jake. Oh, Jake, is that my fault? You're getting coconut juice on you. These are too strong to test on us. It's too deadly. What about this, Logan? It's a police baton. Jake, you're Jake. trying to tell me that this police baton is too deadly to even try. It's to too Phil's deadly, leg. yes. This is Phil's leg. You broke you, the table! You broke the table! <laughs> Hold on! Jake! <laughs> I chopped Phil's head off. <laughs> this challenge, like... Oh, run, Phil! Run! Yeah. Run, Phil! Run! Okay, Jake, 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 Jake. Oh, no! This is not... <laughs> Go, Phil, go. <laughs> this is not the point of today's video. We're ma we're making Fortnite okay, suits. I'm carried away with that. Okay, since Jake has given us a zero dollar budget, that's okay. I'm gonna make do with zero dollars. What that means is I'm gonna have to use the trash around our house and turn it into a Fortnite costume. 
Which, you know, now that I think about it, actually makes a lot of sense. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this skin, but this is a skin that I play with. As you can see, this skin uses cardboard as armor, which is exactly what we are going to do. I'm pretty much gonna model this skin as my armor. So I'm gonna go to the trash, get some cardboard, and become this guy. Okay guys, so Logan and Phil are off using their budgets to build their suits to survive uh, what is now actually looking pretty scary. And since I have a $1,000 budget, you're probably wondering, Papa Jake, what are you going to use your $1,000 budget on? Now, I had a lot of really cool ideas. You know, I was like, I could go to Home Depot. I could buy metal shielding. I could buy literally armor. I could maybe even buy like a bulletproof vest. All of those were really great ideas. But then I thought, I have $1,000. And what's something really cool I've always wanted? Well, it's right here. Check this out. It is a full life-size Halo 3 Master Chief suit. I mean, if the Master Chief suit can't withstand all the stuff we got outside, I don't know what will. And since I'm currently playing with the Master Chief skin in Fortnite, I think it is the perfect fit for me. So yes, maybe I should have bought some metal. Maybe I should have bought some extra armor, but I couldn't pass up on a $1,000 Master Chief life-size suit. It's just too cool. Check it out, guys. We've got the Master Chief helmets with working lights. Oh yeah, now that, that's gonna be protective. All right, I'm gonna take the rest of the stuff out and see what we have. Okay, so I found this piece of styrofoam that kind of is reminding me of a riot shield. So before I make the suit, I'm just gonna make this shield. I think it'll be pretty cool. Okay, so we have our riot shield. It has two layers of cardboard, one layer of styrofoam. It's pretty good. I mean, I think a bow and arrow might go through it, but a bow and arrow with a tennis ball will not go through this. Okay, so now that we've done the shield, it is time to do the rest of the body. After watching Jake's demonstration of the weapons, I'm a little bit scared. Whatever. Plus I got the shield. Yo guys, check this out. So if you didn't think I was gonna have enough armor, you are very, very wrong. This thing is beastie. There is so many pieces of armor. I don't even know how I'm gonna get all of this on. This is going to be insane. It is a full life-size replica. It even comes with like an undergarment that is like literally made of leather. So I've got even extra armor on that. Uh, I'm pretty confident in my build. I have no idea what Logan and Phil are up to, but you know what? I'm feeling a lot better about this. I get a Master Chief outfit and probably the most protection you could possibly ask for. All right, Phil, what is your suit going to be? Oh, well, you told me I couldn't buy any donuts with the $10, so I bought as much bubble wrap as I could. Oh, okay. All right, well, guys, it looks like Phil has spent his $10 on bubble wrap, which, you know what? Normally, I'd say Phil has terrible ideas. That's probably not the worst idea. This might actually work really well. All right, let's wrap Phil up in bubble wrap. Never thought I'd be saying that. Okay, so I've been uh, rolling Phil up in the in the stuff, and I'm really dizzy now. Like, really, this is a lot of bubble wrap. Guys, I'm starting to think this wasn't such a good idea. Phil, we could ship you like across the country and all this. Oh, everything's spinning. How protective is it? Oh, dude. Oh, I can't feel it. All right, we're almost done wrapping Phil up. Phil, how do you feel? I don't know about this anymore. So I realized that, you know, as far as armor goes, this is probably pretty good, but you look like a big ice cream cone. And mobility wise, not that great. And Phil's definitely not gonna be able to hold a blaster. Yeah, Phil, how are you gonna fight with this armor? Phil's uh, armor is complete. Armor. <laughs> so yeah, mobility wise, he's got none. He can't hold a Fortnite blaster, but in terms of protection, he has a lot of bubble wrap protection. So now it is time for us to test out the items on Phil and see how well his armor withstands. Nerf blaster, 
It holds up. All right, well, I, I guess we all were thinking the Nerf Blaster wasn't gonna do much, but we can move up to the Nerf Fortnite Bazooka. Bazooka Blast! This armor might win, Logan. What about a baseball, Phil? <laughs> He's like invincible. All right, Phil, we're doing a paintball inside the slingshot. You ready? Okay, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> it just got stuck it just in the right in there. It okay. didn't do anything. At this time, we're gonna try a wood BB against Phil. See if he can withstand this. Dude, it just gets stuck in there. You can't withstand anything. Guys, I can't feel anything. All right, I think we're gonna have to move up to the bow and arrow. Three, two, one. Nothing. Nothing's getting through this armor. All right, let's try the baton. All right, Phil. This is my primal Fortnite baton. Are you ready? Yeah. Anything? Nothing, Jake. What? So in terms of defense, Phil's yeah. armor is holding up really well. <laughs> However, Phil can't really move and be on the offense. <laughs> Mobility exercise, no, get up no, the slide. No. He's gonna create like an electrical. Oh no! Cause I can't get up. <laughs> He's like a cocoon. <laughs> All right guys, well, Jake, it, it looks pretty like hot in there. Phil has confirmed that the bubble wrap armor did work. It did survive every single one of our items. However, he was not able to move and he was not able to hold a Fortnite blaster. But that does mean Logan, with the $0 budget, you are up next. Let's go do this. Let's see what armor you prepared. All right, guys, with a budget of zero dollars, Logan has created Boxman, actually a character inside Fortnite, and he's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like you've got the goggles down. You've got a super protect. Look at that. You've got styrofoam on the back, zero dollars. This is impressive. And he's got mobility. Logan, give us a little dance. All right, well, it's gonna be a close showdown to see if this is going to be Phil's styrofoam, but uh, let's get started here, guys. Let's not waste any time it's time to put logan through the ultimate fortnite task first thing you're going to encounter in fortnite is a guy coming at you with a scar and it looks like it uh yeah wow actually like if i wasn't wearing this helmet that would really hurt that probably would have hurt so it looks like the scar has done nothing next up we've got our tennis balls let's see if these can make a dent in logan and oh my goodness he's got a shield here we go <laughs> Nothing, Phil. Hey, yeah. Attack, Phil. Attack. Guys, this is pretty impressive because I know Phil deflected all of this, but Logan's able to move around, which is kind of crazy. Oh, Phil wants to go uh, upgrade a little bit. All right. All right, what you got, Logan? Think you can deflect this? Oh, we got a dent in the shield, though. A small dent. We made some small progress. Let's go again. <laughs> Logan looks awesome. Burr! Oh, another dent! The shield is slowly breaking, Phil. Watch out! Watch out! I'm on to the He's got, he's a I'm not prepared for this. Push him back, push him back! I definitely stopped it! Ah. Oh! <laughs> That actually penetrated the <laughs> That went through the slit. It went through the slit, but the goggles Oh my god. It might even have these goggles. <laughs> that would Yo. Oh my That's god. That's why you always wear goggles. That is crazy. That went through that little I mean, hole. It still stood up to it. You had the goggles, you had the secondary defenses. <laughs> All right, guys, we're switching to the baton against Logan's shield. Oh, oh, it is making some progress. It is hitting the shield. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we've completely ruined his shield and now he's just down to his suit. Let's see how it holds up against the baton. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you killed Logan! Oh, Logan, he's dead! I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not? Oh, okay. <laughs> Phil, quickly, oh. get the bat! Yeah, I'm out of here! Oh, he's got a blaster! Put yeah! Put yeah! Ah! Ah! 
It is definitely breaking more than Phil's. I think after a while, <laughs> Phil's getting him from the back. <laughs> We're slowly breaking through Boxman's armor. <laughs> Man, how long is this guy gonna take? He's been gone for like 30 minutes. I don't know. Oh, oh my goodness, there's Jake. Jake? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the chief! Thousand dollar budget. <laughs> You're Master Chief! I'm ready for whatever you got to throw at me. Oh, I am Just like Master the guy in chief. Fortnite! Phil, he's the guy from Halo. The chief. Jake must be freaking out right now because growing up, that was his favorite video game of all time. Jake, how does it feel to be the chief? Feels good, Logan, feels good. It looks like a real suit. We need to test out Master Chief's ability to withstand Fortnite primal things such as a bow and arrow. All right, first we're gonna try using the scar. All right, Jake, can you withstand a scar? Logan, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to break through this. All right, we have the paintball slingshot. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, it hit right there. Did it get through? Nope, didn't feel a thing. <laughs> All right, Jake, can you withstand a bow and arrow? <laughs> we gotta stop the covenant. We gotta stop the covenant. What are you doing? Ooh, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Do you feel that? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm like your guy's suits, I can fight back. Bill, get him from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. <laughs> Jake, you're in there, right? Don't worry, Phil. Okay, that didn't work. Oh no. Oh, no. Ah! All right, guys, well, it looks like this is where we are gonna end off the video. We kind of all passed the challenge, which I don't know if that's ever happened before. We all did really well. Phil did really well with his $10 making a bubble wrap suit. Logan did great making a recreation of Boxman. Box and well, I mean, we all knew you wouldn't be able to beat the Master Chief in his suit. So guys, let us know down below in the comments if you wanna see some more Fortnite videos, maybe some real life Fortnite videos, now that we've got a full Master Chief suit and a Boxman suit. Plus the new season's out and we've been playing it and having a lot of fun but guys this has been papa jake and logan and we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video